It's a story that resonates in every part of rural India. The one of a struggling farmer trying to find an adequate and reliable source of water to irrigate his crop. While the hopes of most farmers across the country still lie at the mercy of the rains, the farmers of Gaya in Bihar have been more fortunate. The dry bed of the Falgu might not appear as a blessing at first glance, but the river has seen farmers through countless seasons of droughts and floods over the years. All the villages in this area use water from this river for irrigation. Our life is based on agriculture. And because of this river, enough water is available for our use. The Falgu is often referred to as the Gupt Ganga since it remains dry for a major part of the year. But in the monsoons, the river fills up with water and provides sustenance to farmers with the age-old Ahar Pine irrigation system. Pines are diversion channels from the river that run through farms across Gaya and drain into a reservoir. It's a system that's cost-effective and sustainable. But with negligence and poor maintenance, the pines are beginning to fall apart and farmers like Virendra are starting to witness the effects firsthand. This year, we had poor crop growth. We lost our fields because it didn't rain much. There was water in the river, but our pine system failed. If it was functioning, we would have had a better output. With so many farmers in the region dependent on the system, an organization called Satyapath took it upon themselves to renew and repair the pines. Chandra Bhushan, who heads the organization, had the task of going to different villages and educating farmers on the urgency of finding a solution. Over time, the movement gathered momentum and the farmers, along with Satyapath, forged a commitment to save the Falgu River and repair the damaged pines. The renovation of the Mandai Bhita pine is underway. The farmers dig along tirelessly in the unforgiving heat, aware that their livelihood hangs in the balance. They will continue digging like this for another 14 kilometers because for every kilometer they dig, 500 acres of farmland gains access to water. This pine, when complete, will help these farmers harvest rain and rainwater and meet their irrigation needs for the entire year. This pine system is connected to the river. The river water goes to a reservoir in the villages and from there into the fields. This pine system is 5000 years old. The river has been a huge boon to us and our work also happens mostly along the banks. I have so far reactivated 15 pines along the banks which were not functioning for the last 50 years. There is a technique to get this river water into the pines. Without the proper know-how, you can't get it repaired. The government invested lots of money on this and yet haven't been successful. Our investment has been minimal and we have developed this technique also alongside. The farmers and Chandrabhushan are faced with yet another challenge. They aren't the only ones digging along the Falgu River. Sand from the bed of the Falgu is being extracted by the truckloads and exported to countries like Nepal to be used as building material. This unchecked extraction could undo all their hard work and cause irreparable damage to the river. Since our sand has been taken out of the river, the riverbed has gone deeper. 
Because of this, the pine system has been hit. The future of the Falgu and the people whose lives are connected to this river remains uncertain. The road is riddled with setbacks and the challenge of getting all the villagers on board to support the movement is a daunting task. But with Satyapat committed to its mission, there is a strong possibility that the Falgu and the Pine system will eventually be restored to their full glory.